Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about that uh, Ray movie, that Ray Skywalker. I mean Palpatine. I mean It's Palpatine. Don't even don't even you keep his name out of your dirty mouth. I do have a dirty mouth. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't get to say she's Skywalker. We are going to talk about that movie because apparently it's still happening. Apparently Daisy Ridley is getting a pretty big payday if this rumor is to be believed. And if this rumor is to be believed, she's getting more money than Mark Hamill got. Yeah, which is kind of shit. She may be the second highest paid Star Wars actor they've had. So Ray gets his house. Mm-hmm. Gets his spaceship, mm -hmm. gets his lightsaber and his sister's lightsaber, gets his Wookiee. Gets his nephew. Gets his, ne briefly, and gets his, takes his last name. And now gets his salary. <laughs> uh, times two and a half. Uh, so we're going to. Well, gonna, well no, I don't know. They don't know. It's five to ten. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll look see. At it. We'll, we'll look see. At we'll it. see. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to talk about this. Uh, I think this is a horrible idea for Disney to do this movie. But, you know, if they want to keep burning money. I know. Definitely the way to do it. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so we've been covering the the Ray movie, and uh, yeah, apparently, apparently it's coming out that it is not canceled. They didn't say it was canceled. They said it was indefinitely delayed. And then this other movie got pushed in front of it, which would be the Grogu Mandalorian, right? And movie. it sounds yeah. like it sounds like if true, there's a lot of you know another one of those differences where they call it creative differences, creative differences, creative going differences. on behind the scenes and all that. And there's supposed to not even be a script yet, um, but they never said it was canceled. They said it was indefinitely delayed. Yeah. Well, here's here's the thing. If and when this movie happens, and apparently there's not even a script for it yet, they're saying that there there are potential plot leaks out there but i don't know i'm hearing that there's there's no scripted whatever is going on it's being pushed back uh, either way yeah it's, another, getting, yeah. it's, it's not coming out anytime soon uh, another kathleen kennedy star wars movie that may or may not <laughs> ever get made but yeah her salary has apparently been revealed now this is coming from the insider a, a subscription based uh, insider newsletter with insider Jeff Snyder, who's been, I think he's been accurate before. Mm -hmm. uh, he's reporting that, according to his sources, Daisy Ridley could make $12.5 million for starring in Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy's uh, upcoming Star Wars film. He notes that it's an eye popping figure that's above her normal quote, but that the amount is what was required to bring her back. I should, I'm sorry, Ray's not worth it. I, Daisy Ridley, I'm sure she's nice. But oh, yeah, it's nothing to do with Daisy Ridley. The character of Ray isn't worth it. How many unsold action figures? Nobody cares about this character. Plus, it's already people are already against it just because the director has you know made comments in the past. And when you look her up, activist is one of the first things written by her name, and she she wants it that way. Yeah, I mean, could they pull off a? I don't even know what no, I'm saying. I don't Could think they so. pull off a sequel to the to the, the sequel to the sequels that aren't even sequels? They're bad fan fiction. Yeah, they could if they want to burn more money. Someone made a comment that like, well, will she even make will they even make her salary back in the first weekend? Oh my god, um, I don't know because it, this is the thing. Like, Ray is viewed by fandom as being the Captain Marvel of Star Wars, okay? Right, like, right. And the thing is, like, you know, you can tie the entire collapse of the, the fandom and the support for Star Wars to the Disney sequel trilogy. Yes. And I would say to The Last Jedi specifically. Yes. And every movie has brought down, like, the, the box office was lower and lower, lower, lower every film. Yep. It kept getting less and less money. You, the, what you did have going into the third film was all the journos and, and these people that were like, yay, I'm a Jedi too, that loved The Last Jedi, that you done pissed off with Rise of Skywalker. Then you killed off Kylo Ren, so you lost all the Raylos. You know, you already lost most everyone, and now you're going to give her $12.5 which, okay, would be fine, except that you didn't even pay Mark Hamill that much. Yeah, so this is this is uh, pretty telling. This is the... Um the salaries, I guess, of various actors in the Star Wars. The top five. The top five in Star Wars. And you have to realize, too, uh, a lot of the actors, especially in the original trilogy, they've been making bank for years off of their likenesses. That's true. And, and, and you have to and... count, you know, inflation and stuff. But Harrison Ford, to come back for The Force Awakens, to get killed. Spoiler. 
Um, what? Got between no. 10 and $20 million. But, you know, Harris, Harris Ford, well, Han Solo character is considered probably one of the most popular Star Wars characters. I know we were at the Run Disney event, and they were trying to ask everybody who their favorite character was, and it was like the majority of people were picking Han Solo. And that being said, Harrison Ford has wanted Han Solo dead since the 1980s. Truth. So he probably jumped at the chance to come back to off him. Five or t- ten to twenty million dollars to get kill- to get his character get killed. And he was only in half the movie. Mm-hmm. Not even half the movie. So you know, you know for he a made, cameo, basically, he made himself a good deal on that one. Yeah, but that movie made like two billion dollars. You know, because everybody thought, oh, hey, we're getting Han, Luke, and Leia. That's back what together. they thought. Um, now you go back down the number. Number two is her. If if she gets the twelve point five million that she's asking for. That's insane. Yes, because you know Ray does. You no, know, no way is Ray gonna be worth that much money. Because here's the thing: when the, even when they brought like uh, proper Luke into the Mandalorian, the crowd went wild. Yep. I'm sorry. Anyway, go down. The next one is going to be Mark Hamill, who apparently only got like a low seven figure salary for Force Awakens because he didn't do anything but stand there. So I guess I mean for that, you that pretty good paycheck for just like the last yeah. couple minutes of the film it goes down here and for the last jedi he got between five and ten million so if if i were disney i'd say hey uh daisy we're gonna make make you a really good deal tell you what you take a little less up front and we will give you half of action figure sale <laughs> action figure sales yeah. action figure sale uh residuals royalties whatever we'll give we'll give you half of the action figure sales if you take a little bit less up front what do you say? It sounds like a great deal, right? Uh, that's what I would do. But. In fourth place was Pedro Pascal for The Mandalorian, the last season of The Mandalorian. But if they do a Mandalorian film, he watch him get more than her. He actually he actually probably would. Because he actually has the, the track record to, to bring that much money. Is this being leaked so his agent can negotiate for more money? Because they're going to be like, hey, he's he's in The Mandalorian and he's in The Last of Us pay him more i don't know it's possible and then the fifth highest paid one was carrie fisher but even then she got low seven figures so you know yeah well she was barely i mean to be honest she was barely in any of them really well she definitely wasn't in the last one but unfortunately but but even force awakens and last jedi she wasn't really right. in that much you know they knocked she, her out you know? in the rise of skywalker what she was in wasn't really her so. it wasn't really her it was like unused footage from the other two movies i guess and they just kind of like i think i used her daughter as a stand in cgi'd too. her or something yeah I don't know. I don't so know. the you know i mean it makes sense that it would be han luke and leia but you know i'm sorry daisy ridley getting 12.5 million you know i mean i guess take the money when you can get it but still, yeah, I, mean, I can't fault the actors for taking the money. Oh, no, absolutely I just think not. it's ridiculous I, to pay her that for this. Yeah, I mean, because Disney has to look at this like, what? I don't know. What is Disney doing? What are they doing? Are they drinking? What are they doing? Why are they greenlighting a Ray movie? They could just completely go on to other stories and not even touch just these. Just step over. The, the way to handle this. Okay, the sequel trilogy, that was kind of a bust. Let's fast forward 100 years in the future. When the second order is still around and they've still got stormtroopers and TIE fighters and X-Wings and the, let's see, we had the rebellion, the resistance, the rabble rousers are fighting the second order. And then we got another Darth. Yeah. Let's do that. No, there's another Death Star, but another Death Star, but it's it's even bigger than the other two. This one's like a sun. It's like, we're just going to build a shell around a star. It's the death sun. It's the death sun. Death sun. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So, like, I don't know. I Just but stop. Star Wars, it'd be like Darth sun. <laughs> Darth sun. Oh, my God. Yes. They're going to have, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, so that's the third the third Skywalker sibling. Darth sun. That, yeah, was never mentioned before. We're going to retcon it. Yeah, did you know you had a brother? There was a, when Yoda was talking about another. But was, he was hidden in the sun. It was Darth sun. <laughs> And uh, yeah, oh, we're going to combine. Okay, guys, this is the pitch meeting. Like, okay, you know how Baby Yoda is hot? Let's do Baby Darth Vader. We will sell the <laughs> shit helmet. out of toys with a little helmet. <laughs> Darth son. <laughs> that shit's going to sell. And you know the thing is, Disney would do that and that shit would sell. To the wine moms and the people that don't yeah, pretty much. watch Star Wars. 
Uh, so cute. Look, look, look. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, and they'll have little wine glasses and shit, and they'll do, yeah, all kinds of Disney stuff. Uh, this guy, Derek, in the comments here on, on Yahoo. Um, it seems like a lot of money for a movie. The real fans are yelling they don't want. Hollywood refuses to make movies for the fans that uh, support with their dollars versus virtue signaling to the fans that just tweet and send social media but will never show. I don't know what they're smoking. I mean, it has to be a hypothetical, like, I don't, I don't know why Disney in the state that they're in right now, Star Wars in the state that it's in right now would say, yeah, let's do another two or $300 million Star Wars movie. Let's pay Daisy Ridley. Who's barely been in anything since, uh, the last ones. Let's, let's give her like, she's done some stuff, but it's smaller. Stuff. Yeah. Let's give her almost as much as Harrison Ford, because yeah. why not? Why yeah, not? Cause we want really, we, the fans demand a Ray movie, you know, and while we're at it, Let's tell Hasbro they have to ramp up production of Ray action figures. Mm -hmm. Between now and then, we're going to have all kinds of Ray action figures. Mm. We're going to have a whole Ray line. It's cheaper just to buy them back from Ollie's maybe. and then just recard them. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe one of the bean counters at Disney actually figured it out. Like, you know what? If we pay her more and we just recard all those action figures that are sitting out there, we can unload those action figures and we actually come out ahead somehow with a Hollywood accounting. You know, because we've already written them off years ago. Or well, they're gone. They're, 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 they're not have them lying around. You keep saying that, but they don't have them lying around. They've already sold them to Ollie's. They've been and shredded. That, or the, yes, or I said they were shredded and in a landfill. They're in a landfill. <laughs> God, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it be amazing if they were like buried in like some third world country or something? That's not amazing. Like this. <laughs> They're like there's a down whole... to make bricks for their houses. Yes, or like they're literally making houses the... out of Ray action figures because they have the technology. And the ET cartridges. They were taking like the plastics, and because you think I'm being mean, no, they actually were taking <laughs> plastics and recycling them into bricks for houses. Which I just worry about how when plastic gets hot, it releases chemicals and smells that I think would hurt somebody. But you know, that's just me. Um, when Ray gets hot, she smells. So good. Who doesn't? Like, I mean, who doesn't? But I'm like, like these. I smells get, like fish. Must be Ray figures. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, smells like failure. Because of the Ray, the the fish nuns, right? That's right. Not Ray, oh yeah, Ray yeah. That's no. what we're talking about. The fish nuns. Uh, yeah, and they're making like their furniture in the house is made out of like ET cartridges, like couches and stuff like <laughs> the that. The furniture is more valuable than most. It of is. The it is. Um, no one asked. Uh, a movie no one asked for with a character no one liked. Disney seems intent on running Star Wars into the ground further. That's everything they're doing now. Her pay shouldn't matter. That's between her and the producers. But everything now matters in the age of social media. Actually, what matters is the stupidity. And to the shareholders at Disney, like, this failed. Like, I'm sorry. The sequel trilogy overall failed mm -hmm. and killed the future profitability of Star Wars. Why in the hell... Would you do a Ray movie? Well, not just that. Even when they gained back some fan goodwill with The Mandalorian and they got people really excited when they brought Luke back, then they killed it with the, the subsequent seasons and Boba Fett and everything else. I like this one. Five hours ago. Uh, last year, China began work on the Cola Super Deep Borehole. Even if they reach their goal by digging further into the Earth's surface than man has to date, they will still not be as low as my interest in this movie. And they will actually find uh, a bunch of Ray figures down there. Probably. Too. Nothing against her. This is where I'm at. Nothing against her personally, but her character in the last three Star Wars movies did absolutely nothing for me. Kathleen Kenny, along with Disney, did an abysmal job of storytelling. That's kind of where I am. Like, I don't have anything against Daisy Ridley personally, but I don't think she deserves more money than Mark Hamill. That's the kind of money you pay for a star that will draw people to the theater, says Joey. She will do the opposite, so it makes no sense. Yeah, it's like anti-sales. anti, anti well, even, the, even the ones they had, even the fans that you had left by The Rise of Skywalker, the ones that came to see the movie, you already pissed off the original fans with The Last Jedi. Then the, 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 all the new fans you had from that one, like the journos and stuff, by the time you walked everything back for Rise of Skywalker, they were pissed. And then the Raylos were doubly pissed because you killed off... You killed up off um, Kylo Ren. So who do you have left that's going to come see a Ray movie? Because without Kylo Ren, without, you don't even have the Raylos. No, that's I, that, like none of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. Uh, like there is no redoing this. You cannot redo. It's it's over. <laughs> this next one, this, I love this one. Good for Daisy for real. I'm sure being part of the sequels was embarrassing and having to deal with the incompetence at Lucasfilm is mind numbing. I'm pretty sure her last theatrical release pulled a total of two million. She has a heck of an agent. Uh, That's yeah. a valid point. Take the money and run. Yeah. She's on what? Uh, Orient Express, I think. And yeah. I, uh, she did a couple other things. But yeah. That was basically it. Yeah. And I think honestly, 
If you can get pay that, get pay that. Cause I think her career is basically dead now because of star Wars. I think it was like, she's kind of got, you know, this is kind of what happened with Mark Hamill. Uh, you know, he, he made a comeback later doing voice acting, but his career was pretty much, mm-hmm. you know, flat line. Same with Hayden Christensen after he did star Wars, like he, he was pretty much unemployable. That's true. And so, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But yeah. So in the, this is infinite wisdom. They think giving, if it's true, like, again, yeah, it's rumored. We don't know this for a fact, but if it's true, they're supposedly giving her $12.5 million to come back and do further damage to the Star Bury Wars the franchise. franchise. I will finish what I started. <laughs> yeah, I thought she already did. I guess not. It's not dead. There's more dead. to kill. There's more to kill. So we're going to wrap this up. Baby Yoda's still kicking. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Baby Yoda's her, 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 the one thing standing in her way. No, they'll team her up with Baby Yoda. You think I'm kidding? They will team her up with... Baby Yoda should be an adult by now. No, he's he's a whatever he is. They've lived like a long time and he's like 50 so some years old. Upgraded, and the baby. upgraded to like... Teenage. You know, teenage Yoda. Teenage Yoda. Angsty so now, teenage Yoda. So now Yoda. when he throws a hissy fit and slashes things, it makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, they would totally do that. Disney would do that. Then Let's, she'll fall in love with him because he reminds her of, of Kylo Ren. I'm, I'm sure there's a rule 34 of that out there somewhere. <laughs> There wasn't. I'm, there is now. I'm sure. Do tec- not send us pictures. Technically, technically, it's like anime. He's an adult. He's like 55 years old. He just looks like a baby. Yeah, do not send us <laughs> photos or images. Not photos, but art. Oh, my God. <laughs> we don't want photos. I don't want photos. Do not send us pictures. I do not want that. Uh, let's And I do not want this movie. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up. Yes. Let's wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.